Welcome to this week's e-newsletter. I'm Anthea Jamison, Assistant Principal of the Junior School here at Hazel Glen College. We started our week at Assembly, which was led by our two Junior School Captains, Dylan and Sophie, and what a fantastic job they did. It's not easy getting up in front of a thousand plus students, teachers and parents, but they did it beautifully. At our Monday Assemblies, we'll be showcasing the creative skills that our students are building upon in performing arts. This week was the wonderful 3D Mr Lovett's class. If you missed the performance, we filmed it for you and you can catch it on our newsletter feed under the Junior School tab. All parents will be informed through Compass as to when their child is performing at assembly. Our parent-teacher interviews are happening on Thursday the 30th of March. This is a variation to the school day and students are recommended to attend the interview with their parents. Bookings for the interviews will open through Compass on Thursday the 16th of March. If you miss out on an interview time, please ring the teacher concerned to make an alternative day and time. We look forward to the opportunity to share information with you about your child. Our Year 4 students participated in House Athletics last Thursday. I want to congratulate them on the effort they put into their event. They showed fantastic resilience and their behaviour was excellent. I love the way each student put so much thought and creativity into dressing in their house colours. I'm sure they slept very well on Thursday night. On Tuesday, we had our cyber safety session for our year three and fours, which focused on how to keep yourself safe in the digital world. This was run by Tracy Porter, a police officer with vast experience working in this field. We were very concerned to see how many of our young students are using apps at home that are not age appropriate. Tracy ran a session for our parent community that night which was extremely informative and answered many questions that parents have. All of the apps that you can see here on the screen are for people over 12 years of age and some are for 17 plus. The dangers of these apps is that they can be used by adults to gain information and images of young children. If your junior school child is using one or more of these apps, we would strongly encourage you to delete them. Some positive news regarding technology. Seesaw, our digital learning platform in junior school is going strong. Thank you to all of the parents who have written or spoken to me about how much they value this program. I can assure you that as teachers, we love it too, and the students are so excited about sharing their learning and bringing the classroom home to you. Hopefully everyone has access to Compass now and you're receiving notifications from us. Please ring our office if you need assistance. We are more than happy to help. Thank you very much and have a wonderful week ahead.